everybody. It is Tuesday morning. Man, why do I get that confused? It doesn't seem like yesterday was Monday, but... So, I'm braving the cold temperatures. It's actually got back up to 34. Um, earlier, it was... When I woke up this morning, it was like 27. About to freeze to death in the house. And so I decided to wear this leather jacket since it's a little warmer than the hoodies. And it uh, looks a little bit nicer. But it, it didn't necessarily fit. I need to lose some of my stomach so I can pull it across and zip it. Because I bought it when I was much thinner. So um, and Today I was going to wear my new boots. Uh, but something's going on with my left foot. And right where my toes connect up to I guess my actual foot bones it's all red and swollen and I was having a hard time uh, walking on my foot this morning and I can't put hardly any weight on my toes so I was like walking on my heel and kind of limping around so I guess when I get out of the car I'll, I'll see how good or bad it is but I can feel that it's swollen in the shoe because oh that's sun um, that the left, my left foot's a little smaller than my right foot, and I'm wearing, my, of course, my fancy Adidas shoes today. And my toes are a little loose in the right one, but they're usually a lot loose in the left one, and I can barely move them in the left shoe at all. That means they've swollen up some more. No telling, it's probably something stupid. I probably bumped it or something and hurt my foot, and just don't remember it. I could have been allergic to yesterday's socks. You never know with me. It's always something. All right, so I'm doing another gluten-free lunch today. Uh, this time I got a sandwich from uh, Thundercloud Subs, and you're probably wondering how in the world that's gluten-free. Well, they have gluten-free bread, but I'm starting to see a pattern here already. Um, this whole gluten-free thing is a great way for companies to completely screw you um, and give you a tiny sandwich for actual more money. So instead of charging me more, Thundercloud should be charging me less because I didn't get as much of a sandwich. I got smaller than their small sandwich and I ordered a large. So basically they take this little bitty gluten-free bun and put the same amount of meat on it as a large so um or hopefully it's the same amount i don't know i was kind of disappointed in it it's tiny so which is actually good for me because i need to lose some weight but um it cost me nearly nine dollars for a sandwich uh, because it's got gluten-free bread so i think thundercloud as an option is uh off the table now as far as gluten-free because that's just ridiculous I understand it probably costs more money to get those, but you're giving everybody less of a sandwich, so you're you're going to end up making more money off that deal. Um, and I'm sure it doesn't cost them a dollar seventy to get those made. They probably only cost maybe double what their other buns are costing. And it's probably still only costing them fifty to sixty cents. Um, I don't know what their food costs are. I don't work for them, but I couldn't imagine it was that much. So. I guess I'll eat it and then I'll let you guys know at least what it tastes like. Uh, hopefully it doesn't taste like crap. I'm going to be really pissed because I just paid $9 for a sandwich. So it looks like my options now are to try Subway tomorrow and see what their gluten free is like. And if it's not any better, uh, then I'm not going to be able to go get anything to eat. I'm going to actually have to, my wife's just going to have to find other gluten free stuff to cook. And I'll just have to keep taking my lunch. I know she's asking people for some recipes. So hopefully we can get some other recipes um, for things that taste good. And I can um, find some other options besides trying to go out and find restaurants that are actually gluten free. Alright, so I'm calling it a night. Um, oh. Thank you for dropping the camera. Um, freezing to death. It's cold again tonight. It's already, I think, 31 outside. So I'm wearing wearing a uh, 
blanket <laughs> over my clothes because I'm freezing. So my foot was still hurting when I got home and showed it to my wife and it did look a little bit like some of the pictures we found of gout but it wasn't on my big toe it was on three of my the three middle toes between the big toe and the pinky um, so what I did or what she had me do is drink a bunch of water make sure I'm not dehydrated took some um, um, ibuprofen and then she had me drink two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and I do have to say it's probably one of the worst things I've ever had to do I mean it was bad and it ranks well it surpasses the time that I had cough medicine and they didn't bother to tell me it was flavored with grape and I had them flavor it cherry because um, my understanding was it didn't have a flavor it just had a medicine-y flavor so they said you should probably flavor it with something else so I picked cherry so it ended up being grape and cherry flavored and that was pretty bad um, I, it still gives me nightmares <laughs> having to drink that but that apple cider vinegar was the worst ever it's the worst thing I've ever had to drink um, I'd rather take shots of whatever alcohol you've got versus that crap it was bad uh, but I do have to say my foot's feeling a little better it still hurts and I really want to wear my new boots but I'm afraid that my foot's going to swell too much and it's going to be hard to get my uh, boot off so I guess I have to wait on wearing my new boots and I'm like really pissed because I really 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 want to wear those I mean that's that's the whole point of buying them um, I wanted to wear them tomorrow in a western shirt but it didn't look like it's going to happen so I have to get up early oh, my stomach. I have to get up early in the morning to go to the orthodontist to get um, top and bottom wires adjusted and then I'm going over to the college um, to talk to the advisor and then I'm gonna go to work and so I just need to find out from the advisor what all I need to do to get all to get registered and so I've already started looking at what I do for getting my bachelor degree because you can only go so far with this school and really just get your associates and then maybe catch up on some other classes um, and then get your bachelor somewhere else so I've been looking uh, and there's a couple of schools that I might be interested in because it's all online I think you have to go one time to initially get everything set up with them but they're legit colleges and really my associates my bachelors I'm not worried where it comes from but if I do decide to go for like an MBA um, I want to hit, I want to at least be in like a top 20 program for that. So, but that's a ways away. That's at least four to five years away before I can even get to that point. So I'm going to try to concentrate on getting this first one done. I think I'm going to take um, 12 hours, uh, which is funny because then I'll be considered a full-time student, even though I work full-time. So I'm hoping, I'm going to talk to them tomorrow and see how difficult that really is. Uh, if they think I can do it, then that's what I'll do. And really all I have to do is do the spring session, summer, fall, then another spring, and then summer. And then I should be... Um, so by summer, the end of summer 2015, I should have my associates. And then I should be able to start working on my bachelor's. And I'll do pretty much the same thing, is do multiple sessions. Uh, the nice thing about that is that sometimes it'll work out where there's there's more sessions um, for these other colleges that are online because you can blow through stuff and then actually sign up ahead of time and um, the way this one found that I worked or there was one this <laughs> this one worked the way that I, when I found it it said that um, they give you a certain amount of time if you do get done early uh, you register for your next classes and some classes do um, do like early enrollment and then you can start working on them immediately and try to blow through everything so and um, one of them that I found gives you credit for um, life experience or for job experience so uh, when I get up to my bachelor's it's a bunch of computer courses uh, under the business administration that I'll probably be able to skip and that'll probably knock like one whole semester off uh, at least that's what I'm hoping they give me credit for all that and I can knock that off so I just have to wait and see what happens but anyway that's all I got for tonight 
Uh, I got to go to bed here in the next hour or so since I got to get up at like 6. Um, well, by 6.30 and then I got to get dressed, get in the car because I got to be at the orthodontist at 8. So uh, these are the mornings that I hate because I got to get up way too early. So anyway, uh, that's all I got for today. I hope you guys had a good Tuesday. Mine was pretty good. Work was work. Um, nothing crazy happened, so that's always a good thing. Um, so if you're not a subscriber, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you know when I add new content. It'll put it at the bottom left that way. <laughs> and uh, make sure you hit the like button if you like the videos. Uh, leave me a comment. I'm running behind on comments right now on replying to stuff and emails through YouTube. I'm going to get caught up this week on that. Uh, it's just been hectic and especially, you know, like during my lunch break and stuff, I've had to go find all of these gluten-free options. So it's been taking up a lot of my time. That's usually when I reply off of my phone um, now that I know how. And uh, you can hit me up on Twitter. It's YouTube underscore Frank. Uh, just let me know that you watch my videos, even if you're not a subscriber, and I'll follow you back on Twitter. So, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow.